Hello, ladies and music lovers. You welcome to another edition of Nigerian B Board Weekly News Recap. My name is Two Sticks, and I'll be taking you on the latest Afrobeat news around the week. There's been a lot of twists and turns. There's been a lot of fun activities. There's been a lot of record breaking, and there's been a lot of album and new music releases. So stick with me while I take you through what happened this week. First on the list, Omali teases his sophomore album. Clarity of mind. Now, Amali dropped the cryptic post on his Twitter whereby he posted a photo and then he tweeted Clarity of mind, which is rumored to be the title of his sophomore album. Although the details have not been confirmed yet, but we definitely can tell you that Amali is working on a new album. Real Ruga meets fake Ruga in Kenya. So, um, we must have been seeing a lot of artists with doubles and Nigerian artists are not an exception. We've had a lot of doubles for David, a lot of doubles for Whiskey, for even Ashake, Burner Boy, and Ruga is not left out, you know. It, it has even gone far to the international stage. Ruga has a double in Kenya, so they got to meet each other this week and here's, here's what happened. Just take a look at it. I think he even looks more like Ruga. Let's take a look at it. For the both of them, they got to meet each other for the first time, and Ruga was cool with him. And as you can see, it was a bonus. So. This week, Roma was playing in the United States of America with a couple of Barcelona players, showing them how to do the dance and playing them the song from his new album, In His. So, you can see Roma with um, Barcelona players like Rafinha, Baldi, and Robert Lewandowski. Also, Roma was spoiled with other Afro stars like Olamide in the building, they both, where they both watched the match and had a chat about the music industry. Next on our news is Ira Star chilling with Rihanna in Barbados. It's no news that Rihanna is a big fan of Nigerian superstar Ira Star. Uh, she invited her to the Crop Over Festival in Barbados. And you can see they were both working the outfit, working the party, and having the time of their life. Next time of her life, and we can't deny that Sabi Girl is really, really a show killer. Fashionista. <laughs> now moving on, YBNS star Ashake drops his much anticipated album Lungu Boy. His fans and music lovers all over the world have been anticipating for the release of Lungu Boy album by YBNS star Ashake, which he didn't fail to deliver this week. The album contains a total of 14 tracks and one bonus track, which makes them 15 tracks in total, and featured top a-list stars from all over the world. Stars like Whiskey, Travis Scott, Stormzy, Central C, and Lord Miller are featured on this spectacular album. Let's take a look at Ashake featuring Travis Scott. <laughs> Thanks to Ashaki and Travis Cole for giving us that nice vibe, active. I think I'm going to be active throughout this week. <laughs> now, did you know that Ashaki actually sampled a Fuji track by Jasmine Olofin featuring Adewale Ayuba titled Wish the Roof, which was released back in 2012 on his new track, Active? I bet you didn't, but you must have been hearing a familiar sound in the background of that, so you can check it out and confirm in the comment section. Moving on. 
Bremer was asked in an interview by Jerem Daly that how does he manage to invade the fan war of the big three? Now that he considers himself as part of the big four, how does he manage to invade that? And here's what he has to say. Achieving at such a high level, I feel like amongst the big three, sometimes these two aren't getting along because of the competition or whatever, and then they make up, they're cool, whatever. How have you been able to be on that level and avoided those types of fallouts with with those people that people are always trying to compare i don't want to praise myself but i feel like everyone who has met me have been super respectful you know the game you know people act crazy you know it should be okay to take bullshit and overlook we're all human beings but one key thing i always want i always tell my boys like five years ago i didn't know these dudes my colleagues literally i didn't know them so why would i why would they be my priority like why would i wake up and be like you know this move i'm about to make they go see or don't worry we'll go shoot them like why would they ever be my priority like why would they ever come to my mind and be like you know i want to like do something that we make them them no it's me it's always the fan base making it seem like any move we make is you know but when I, in turn, put it in in terms of lyricism. I always want to keep um, the sports going. You know, so we have lyrics where we're like, um, you know, where David Doe... Now, looking at that, do you think Rema is right? And actually, do you think Rema is worthy to be a part of the Big Four? And if you had to place him in the Big Four, what number would you put him? I also know in the comment section below. And that's not all from Rema, as he actually featured in Favorite Girl Remix, which dropped this Thursday. Favorite Girl by Darko has been a viral song this year, and it's not going to be bad if Rema adds some sauce to it. Let's check it out. Yeah, 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 that was some real sauce. You can't deny that. We might just need the song. It sounds better like this week, but let's check it out. Curvy Girl remix Darko Fit Rema. Ruby stars as a video vixen in Cry Baby by Anne Marie. Clean Bandit and David Goetz, I'm telling you, you can make it in Hollywood. I'm beating my chest, I'm telling you, you can make it in Hollywood. <laughs> On to the next. Now, a lot of people have been talking about two particular tracks on Ashake's latest album, Lungu Boy. What are these two tracks? The first is MMS by Ashake featuring Whiskey, and the second is Fuji Vibes. Why are they talking about these two tracks? MMS featuring Whiskey has been a a center of controversy on the album with a lot of fan base giving their opinions about the track they feel like it's the best and some people say like no it's not the best that fuji vibes is better than it what do you think about mms featuring whiskey do you think it's the best track on the album let me give you a quick fact mms featuring whiskey has been the most streamed like i mean the most streamed new song on that album which means before i can actually release the album he dropped Wave featuring Central C. He also dropped Active featuring Travis Scott. Excluding those two tracks, the day he dropped the album, the new tracks that all dropped on that day, MMS featuring Whiskey has gained the highest number of streams on the album. So do you think it's the best track on the album? Let us know in the comment section below. Fuji Vibes has also been a center of attraction on the album. Why? Because of the Fuji. Yeah. Fuji is another genre of music in the Nigerian entertainment industry, which has been alive for decades now. Not for centuries. <laughs> we can't deny the fact that Fuji has been here and is going to be here to stay. It's because Ashake, a global icon, a global superstar, adding the Fuji vibe to his album means the genre is going nowhere. It's here to stay. And we have stars like Basuma Alabi, Saido Shikba, topping the genre for years now. K1 the ultimate also not. Let's have a sneak peek on how Fuji Vibes were, was made by the composers and magic sticks. Fun. Hello, 
I feel the Fuji Fuji vibes right there. You miss it. Moving on to the next on our list. Now this is interesting. A fan, a music fan, a true music fan, a fan of our very own Thames, tattooed a face on his back. Now, can you imagine that? Can you do that for a favorite artist? It takes a true fan to do this. The fan actually tattooed the face of Thames on his back and he got to meet her at a concert in Sweden. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, this is this this is nice. It takes courage to do that. So lots of love. Love for Afrobeat. Afrobeat is going places. Right, right. So last but not the least on our list of miss is our weekly chart. Yes. Our weekly chart consists of the Art 101, Billboard 202, Artist 101 chart. Which is curated weekly. This week on our Auto 101 chart, the top 10 active bash I can debut at number one, while Zeba follows at number two with I have a burner boy maintaining its top 10 standing at number three. You can check out the full charts here. And moving on, our B Bot 202 chart has Remus album is at the number one position for the third consecutive week while Lushi Professor follows at number two. Igikai by YBNL boss Lamide is at number three on the Billboard 202 album chart. I'm moving to the Artist 101 chart which consists of the top 101 artists in Nigeria. At number one position means Rima for the third consecutive week and following closely at number two is Ashake and you know why they call him the landlord, right? <laughs> As I guess that number two, fully remember closely. No, number three is Burner Boy, African Giant. Although he has given the title to Faust, but, <laughs> but he still remains the African Giant. So, so, so. Thank you for sticking around and watching the Nigerian B Board Weekly News Recap right here. Please do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube threads at nigerian billboard subscribe to our youtube page and press the red notification bell to turn on post notification see you same time next week